Hey, how's it going? Uh, I am making this video today to tell you how to use your Timex heart rate monitor. If you're like me, you bought one of these things because you thought it would help your workout, but the manual, it seems like it was written in English, then translated to Chinese, then translated back to English. I mean, it's completely confusing. It's all written out of order, and it's about an inch thick, and you just cannot figure it out how to work this thing. This is the greatest tool you'll ever add to your workout, so let me show you how simple it actually is to use. Uh, this is a Timex Ironman watch. Uh, this is the male version, which is like, I think, gray with orange. They come in different colors, different sizes, different materials. My wife's is smaller, it's purple. But basically, if you're getting one with a chest strap, these are gonna be the same instructions uh, basically for every watch. Uh, give or take a few features here and there. Okay, now these uh, uh, watches, the first thing you notice, there's a whole bunch of buttons. There's two buttons on this side, there's two buttons on this side, there's a button on top. Let me tell you right away, you can forget these two buttons here. This button up here, at least for my watch, is a light. Uh, it makes it kind of glow up if I press it. Uh, you can't really see it here because it's bright. Uh, and then this uh, mode down here, this is sort of a toggle mode to toggle between uh, view modes as you're working out. You might use it one time when you're first set up to make your uh, heart rate appear in the large uh, number as opposed to like the small number on top. Other than that, you're not going to use this button. You're not going to use this button. The buttons you're going to use are the side button here, the top button, and then this kind of one o'clock position button. This button here, down here at six o'clock, this is the mode button. As you press this, it changes between all the different modes that your watch has. And as we see here, we start at the beginning, it has a time mode, just like a regular watch with the date and time. It has a chrono mode, it has a timer mode, it has a recover mode, it has a review mode, it has a heart rate monitor setup mode, and it has an alarm mode. And uh, uh, most of these modes, you're not even gonna use. Uh, you might use them uh, some of these features at some point. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're only going to use two modes. You're gonna use chrono mode, and you're going to use review mode. Chrono gets you captures your data while you're working out. Review mode at the end of your workout tells you how many calories you burned. Okay, but before we get to that, let's just really quickly go to the heart rate monitor setup because if you don't set up your heart rate monitor for your settings, you're not going to be able to uh, get the right data. So down here uh, at the six o'clock button, let's press this until we get to uh, the HRM setup mode. Okay, this is where you set up all your data. Okay, now we're gonna press, uh, one, now that we're in this mode, we'll press this one o'clock button and it'll go into the set mode and things will start blinking. When you're in this blinking mode, uh, this is where you can kind of put in your settings. There's two buttons to put in your settings. The top button uh, will make it go up one and then this uh, four o'clock button will make it go down one. And then to switch between the things you're setting, the mode. So the first thing it wants you to set up is your heart rate zone, your target heart rate zone. You can read a little bit about uh, target heart rate zones, but as you, you can see here, as I cycle through, uh, I can I can choose heart rate zone one, which for me is 93 to 111 beats per minute, uh, zone two, which is 111 to 130, etc. When I set my tar target heart rate zone, let's say I'll set it to uh, I'll set it to, to uh, zone three. 130 to 148, that would be my quote unquote target heart rate zone. You can set yours to whatever you want. And you can, there's also an option on here to set them manually. Uh, pressing the mode now set, takes you over to where you can set your weight and you can see I currently have it set to 182 pounds. As you press mode, each different uh, number starts blinking and you'll have an opportunity to change it. So if I wanted to change it to 180, I would just press this mode button until the third number is set up. And then I could press one of these until I get to 180. I'll set to 181. And finally, you can change it to pounds or kilograms. Uh, and then uh, pressing mode one more time get, takes you to the last uh, thing you have to set up, which is your maximum heart rate. They say 220 minus your age. That's your kind of ideal maximum heart rate. I'm 40 years old, so that would be 180 for me. But I've found from working out that I, I get over 180 almost every workout, not too much higher, but like about 185 is my max. Uh, you can kind of uh, use the formula to set it the first time and then after you're working out a few times you can see if you go over that or you can see what your maximum heart rate really is over time. Uh, for me it's 185. If I get over 185 that's just I'm working out too hard and I need to back off. So uh, you can again you can press mode to highlight each number so that it's blinking and then once blinking you can uh, press the top button here to kind of go through and set it to what you want it to be. So I want mine to be 185 
And okay, so I've set, and this mode will just now start at the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one more thing uh, you can set, and that is you can have it display beats per minute or percentage of your heart rate. I don't know why in the world you would want to set it to percentage. I don't know what good it does to you to look down and say, oh, I'm working out at 72% of my max heart rate. Maybe for some people who are really tuned into this whole zone thing, that's good, but you want to set to BPM, beats per minute. Okay, and as you press the mode, if you forgot something or want to go back and change, you have ample opportunity to go back and change your weight, your maximum heart rate, or the display, or your heart rate zone. When you're done setting up all your stuff, go back up here to this one o'clock button, press it again, stuff will stop blinking, boom. Your settings are now in. You don't have to touch this again unless you start losing a dramatic amount of weight because as you lose weight, it'll affect how many calories you burn. Okay, so... Uh, uh, we have our mode button here cycling back to the modes. Let's cycle back to the time mode and I, let me quickly talk about all the modes that are on this watch and uh, how we use it. So we have the, the time mode. We press it once, we'll get to chrono mode. This is the one we're going to use 99% of the time and I'm going to talk about that in just one second. We press it again. After uh, chrono, it gets to timer mode. This is just a great old stopwatch. Press it again. That's a recover mode. This is like a test. You can... Um, you can kind of read through the manual and see how you do this. There's a test you can do where you get your heart rate up to near its maximum. You, you put it into the recover mode, and then it kind of gives you a recording of at one minute, two minute, three minutes, how fast your heart rate gets back down to normal. It's a really great fitness test and some pretty valuable information, especially to see how it changes as your fitness improves. But you're really not going to be using this most of the time. Uh, the next mode, uh, let's see here, chrono, timer, recover mode, review mode. Uh, we'll get to this at the end. HRM setup, we already talked about, and then there's alarm mode. I have mine set to off. If you set it to on, uh, then the alarm will go off if you get over your maximum heart rate. You remember just a few seconds ago, I set my maximum heart rate to uh, 185. Well, if it gets to 186, it'll beep. I have mine set to off because I find that just distracting. So you want to work out. How do you use this watch? You put in your data. How do you use it? Hit the mode and go to chrono mode. Okay? Press the uh, top button up here to reset it and hold that down. Okay, now you'll see my chrono is set to zero because I haven't worked out. And boom, I have my heart rate. I'm actually wearing my chest strap already. I've already moistened it and put it on. And you can see my heart rate now is 79 beats per minute. There's a little heart up here that's a solid heart. That means I'm getting my heart rate. If that heart is empty, you're not getting your heart rate. You probably need to wet your chest strap or make sure it's snug and put it on, on the right place. See, I have 83 beats per minute. Let me see if I hear it. If I get up and I just jump five or six times. Let's see. You can see, yeah. See, it gets up to 94, 104. Okay, so I'm in chrono mode. This is my start button. This is my stop button. Let's start my workout. Bing. I've started my workout. See, I have 112 beats per minute there, 109 beats per minute. And I'm working out. And I'm doing my Power 90X or my Power 90 or my Chalene Extreme or my Slim and Six or whatever workout I'm doing. And I'm working out. I'm going to jump around here and get my heart rate going. I'm just going to do a couple of jumps to show you how it goes up. Let's see. Boom. And you can see as you're working out, I keep jumping here. Kind of doing little jumping jacks in place. Trying not to lose my breath during my video. You can see here right away. Boom. 122. This is so great. As you're working out, you can glance down anytime, real time, see your heart rate. So, okay, I worked out. I get to the end of the tape. I've done my stretching. How do I finish? Boom, press the stop button. Don't press the start button. That's the same one you use to start. If you press that, you will uh, go into like a lap mode like a stopwatch. Start the workout, stop the workout. Now let's go back over to mode. Let's go over to the review mode. The review mode is my favorite mode because this is where it has all my data. You can see I just worked out for 43 minutes and... 43.99 seconds, <laughs> uh, 43 seconds I worked out. Uh, you know, it will be, you know, it'll show you in minutes and seconds when you do a full workout. And as I press this top button, it'll cycle through. So in my 43 seconds, I was actually in the zone zero seconds. I didn't get my heart rate over 145. Uh, my average heart rate was 106. My peak was 124. My minimum was 80. And I burned six calories. It's so great when you get to the end of the workout and this thing says you burned 750 calories or 980 calories or whatever it is. It's just awesome. So hopefully this will help you uh, work your Timex work, uh, Ironman workout. You cycle through the modes. Just remember, chrono mode is the mode you're going to use to record your workout. And review is the mode you're going to use to get your data. That's all you need to know. Thanks for watching.